Corey from Halo's Make Stuff here today with a fun Cricut Design Space tutorial. The other day I had my boys make handprints using paint, and then I actually went and digitized those handprints so I could cut them in iron on vinyl. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not that hard. Come along with me. So the other day I had my boys make their handprints with paint on paper. I went ahead and took photos using my camera phone and then emailed them to myself so that I could upload them onto my computer. So to do that, you can go ahead over here to Upload in Cricut Design Space, and then navigate to wherever that image lives. I have some tips and tricks on my blog for uploading these kinds of photos. The iPhone now gives you an HEIC file extension, which you have to change, so there's some important information you need to know in the blog post about this, um, which is down in the comments. So go ahead and bring in the JPEG of the handprint. Um, you can see here that I even got some blue background. There's some other handprints here. We'll take care of all of that. Um, even though this is kind of a complex image itself, I'm going to go ahead and choose simple as the image type. It has high contrast colors, it's black and white, it's going to be fairly easy to uh, see the contrast between those two colors. It'll take a little bit here to um, actually um, select the option because it's such a detailed file, um, but in just a second here you can click continue. And then it will bring, it, bring you to the select and erase screen, and as you can see it is absolutely enormous. Um, so go ahead over here and zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see what you're working with. Um, the Select and Erase screen allows you to erase everything that's not handprint. So you can go ahead and click on that first big chunk of background here in white and you'll see that it turns it transparent. Um, already we have a much closer handprint. The next option is over here to go up to the Erase tool and then I make it a really big um, circle which isn't actually really big because this is such a big file. And then I erase everything that is not handprint. So I can erase that bottom bit. I can erase these, these other handprints up here that I'm not going to use. And then I'm going to go back to the Select and Erase tool and start erasing some of the bigger chunks of handprint that are still not transparent, like the center of his palm here. Um, and then you can zoom in a little bit to get some of the others. I wouldn't suggest doing everything, um, just some of the bigger pieces. Um, so that you actually kind of get that definition in the handprint. Um, note that your Cricut's going to have to cut all of these really intricate little shapes, so um, it will sound like it's having a seizure when it cuts, it really will, but you'll be surprised at how well it does actually cut. So I just go ahead and click on some of these bigger pieces here to try and get some definition in that handprint. Again, don't click on anything too small, um, at least you just won't notice it in the final handprint. Once you have a handprint you're happy with, you're also going to want to go back to that erase tool and erase some of the really small bits. Um, these are just going to be too difficult for the Cricut to cut and you just don't need them. Nobody's going to be missing them. You can change the size of your eraser to get you know, smaller bits here. You don't want to like lose the entire thing, but you definitely don't need a lot of these little pieces. Um, they're just not going to cut well or stick with your image after everything's all said and done. Um, I kind of trace down the edge of my, my finger here to you can see to kind of delete some of those smaller pieces. And it'll just help your image cut more easily if you don't have to have it cutting around all those tiny edges. Another thing is, is if you feel like your handprint is a little smudgy, I found this with my other son's handprint even more for this project, um, you can actually sort of just erase the smudgy bit, right? Like, just make that a little bit more thumb-like, um, and I think you're going to be better off. Yeah, so there you go. Once you're all done with that, you can actually preview it down here, which will show you sort of more what the cut file is going to look like itself. This will also help you find if you have any stray bits, like over here on the right I have a stray bit that I can delete. Um, you have to click preview if you click anything, but it does help you find any pieces that you may not want cut in your final file. Um, here's another one, here's some other small bits over here that I missed. You just really want the cleanest file you can get while still maintaining that like authentic handprint shape. So you may need to preview it several times to get that. Um, if you do mess up or you end up erasing the whole thing, there's always the undo tab up here that will help you uh, back up. It works really handily here. Once you have a relatively clean handprint and you've previewed it a few times and gotten rid of the last little bits, you can go ahead and click continue. And once it loads, you're going to want to save it as a cut image. And you can bring it into Cricut Design Space and manipulate it however you'd like. One of the things I always make sure to do is size the handprint of the actual size of the handprint on my piece of paper. It's going to come into Cricut Design Space enormous because it was a very large file. My son's hand is not 
20 inches tall, so I went ahead and resized it to be about 4 inches tall, which is much closer to accurate. And there you go, you have a handprint. You can cut it in iron-on vinyl and put it on all sorts of projects. I like this project too because you can reuse the handprint, so you don't have to continually have your kids messing with the paint, trying to get the handprint perfectly wherever you need it. Um, this is just such a great way to create a keepsake item um, without the mess. I hope you feel inspired to make your own vinyl handprint crafts after this tutorial. Tell me what you're going to make down in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and to get my new weekly content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love crafting with you guys. I'll see you next week.